Williams and Williams has a wide range and a huge team of people that focus on all sorts of areas of sales for us here. Chris Large is the sales director for our winery division. Welcome into the studio. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Now, you are new to Williams and Williams, but you've got a long history with wine sales. I do, I do. Yes, 20 years total, uh, mostly here in Oklahoma. Uh, worked at Park Hills Liquor and Wines for approximately 10 years, and then had my own shop in Utica Square Grand Vin Bottle Shop before we decided to do our own brand, Ecovino Wines. Uh, it takes a lot of knowledge to kind of get into the wines, so depending on where they're made, how they're made, what part Absolutely. of the country they're from. I would imagine it takes just as much knowledge to run some kind of operation like that. It does. You know, I, I learned a lot in those 20 years. Uh, the contacts I made were invaluable. Uh, really learning it from the ground up, what it takes uh, to sell wine, what it takes to make wine. And uh, again, I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for that history. Of course, a lot of the wines in our country come from the West Coast. Absolutely. California, Washington State, Oregon, I guess. The three big ones. Uh, what does the market kind of look like out there right now? You know, it's uh, there's approximately 5,000 wineries in those three states, um, all shapes and sizes. Most of them, though, are 10,000 cases and below. So small to medium-sized wineries really make up the bulk of the wine business in California. Talk to me about some of the people that have purchased these wineries. I know that uh, from what I'm hearing, they purchased them several years ago. It's either a little too much for them to handle. They were not really educated in how to run a winery. Uh, what are you seeing out there? You know, you, you said it. Um, most of these people who bought these small to medium sized wineries were gentlemen that were looking for perhaps uh, a, a retirement or something uh, other than what they were currently doing to put their money. And once they found out that the wine business is not necessarily uh, about just drinking wine and the romance of wine. It's a lot of, of work. It's a lot of work. Uh, you're dealing with farming issues, you're dealing with mother nature issues, and uh, the business has got even more competitive, you know, coming in from outside sources uh, out of the United States even. Let's say that somebody who's watching this uh, wants to buy a winery, either with Williams or Williams or out there on the market. Uh, you know, what do they need to know to get into it? What kind of education do they need to have if they are prepared to be a farmer, basically? Absolutely. You know, this was one of the reasons why I came to Williams & Williams. I, uh, in my travels in California, I saw many wineries that were for sale, and I always thought to myself, you know, how does one broker uh, get their head around uh, the sale of a winery? Because there's so many moving parts. You have you know, potentially uh, many employees, you have equipment, you have uh, all these different factors that go into the sale of a winery. And it just, you know, I, I got me wondering, how do they go about doing this? And, and what does it take to actually get a winery sold? And the more I found out, uh, the more complicated it seemed to be. And so having said that, you know, knowing Williams and Williams being one of the the premier auction houses in the country uh, with professionals in a lot of different areas. I thought this would be uh, really a, a great area to explore with them. I know you said that there were several thousand wineries out there on the West Coast. 5,000 plus. 5,000. A lot of those are going to be hitting the market uh, within the next year or so. Hopefully those come into auction with Williams & Williams. What kind of price range can a potential buyer look at to pick up a winery operation? The majority of wineries that we've seen in this market are the one to three million dollar range and these are ones that are considered uh, perhaps boutique vineyards. A uh, very nice home perhaps anywhere from 50 acres and below and some of that uh, acreage under vine but relatively small operations. Tell me about how we're going to market these properties as they hit the auction block here on Williams & Williams. So what we will do is we will get them uh, listed. We'll go about a very aggressive campaign, very similar to what we do on the residential side. Uh, it'll be 45 days uh, marketing in not only print, radio, online, social media. Uh, we'll try to shine a very bright spotlight on that winery uh, to let everybody know that on a very specific day, at a specific time, this winery is going to sell. All right, Chris Large with Williams & Williams, sales director for our winery division. I look, look forward to seeing what's going to happen over the next year or so. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you being in here. Keep it right here on Auction Network.